Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, we've got Summerville High School. Yeah. Taking on Acton Boxborough Regional High School. next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. You know, back in November, 130 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. And the goal now, as always, is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. Now, today's matchup has Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Somerville High School. On the Acton Boxborough team, we have Michael, Alex, Aiden, and Spencer. And we have alternates, Nathra and Max on the sidelines, as well as coaches, Rhonda Berman Byam and Susan Irvis Bo Miller. Nice round of applause for the Acton Boxborough team. And for Somerville High School, we've got Sam, Alice, Marisa, and Will. And their alternates on the sidelines are Bobby and Max, and the coaches Mike Maloney and Ted Blake. A nice round of applause. Somerville High School is represented. Now, the competition, as always, has four rounds. A toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. Now, all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, I say we go forward. <laughs> President Richard Nixon's eventual downfall began on June 17, 1972, with the arrest of five burglars inside what building complex? Yes, Will. Watergate. Watergate is right. About 4.6 billion years ago, our sun, earth, and solar system formed from a nebula in a spiral arm of what galaxy? Yes, Alex. Milky Way? Yes. What South American rainforest is the world's richest and most varied biological reservoir? Yes, Spencer? The Amazon. Correct. In 2014, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling uh, said that Hermione should have married Harry rather than whom? Yes, Alice? Ron. Yes. Take a look at your screens. What Dutch master painted this self-portrait in 1659 when he suffered financial failure after years of success and had to auction off his home? Yes, Spencer. Rembrandt. Rembrandt is correct. Uh, China is the most populous country in the world and one of the largest in area. How many official time zones does it have? Yes, Alice. One. Correct. Who gave birth to 16 children during her reign in the 1700s and was the only female ruler of the Habsburg monarchy? Yes, Spencer. Marie Theresa. That is correct. Marble is an example of which of the three major rock types? Yes, Spence. Metamorphic. Yes. On June 6, 2015, what racehorse won the Belmont Stakes, becoming the first Triple Crown winner in 37 years? Yes, Sam. American Pharaoh. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Your next question will be by video, and here it comes. Hey, this is Lawrence Gilliard, Jr. from the TV series The Walking Dead. So, my question is, the original concept of the zombie, which is a person who is raised from the dead and controlled by a sorcerer, has been popularly associated with what folk religion of Haiti? Yes, Spencer. Voodoo. Voodoo is correct, and we'll move on. What Harvard biologist and leading authority on ants 
is considered the father of sociobiology, the study of the genetic basis of the social behavior of all animals, including humans. Yes, Marisa. E.O. Wilson. That is correct. What 1969 Kurt Vonnegut novel features the Tralfamadorians, an alien race for whom visiting the past is no harder than walking down the street? Yes, Spencer. Slaughterhouse-Five. Yes, a replica of the U.S. Senate chamber is part of a new institute in Boston, named for what late senator who represented Massachusetts for nearly five decades? Yes, Spencer. Ted Kennedy. Correct. Uh, with over 2.6 billion speakers, or 45% of the world's population, which of the following language families has the largest number of speakers and the widest dispersion around the world? Is it A, Indo-European, B, Sino-Tibetan, or C, Afro-Asiatic? Yes, Will. Afro-Asiatic. No, Acton Boxborough, you want to take a shot? Yes, Spencer. Um, Indo-European. That is correct. Math question here. What is 5% of 360? Yes, Sam? Um, 18. Correct. Uh, in 2015, what country singer and former American Idol winner captured her 13th CMT Music Award, making her the biggest winner in the show's history? Spencer? Carrie Underwood. Correct. An atom has a neutral charge if the number of electrons equals the number of what? Yes, Alice. Protons. Yes. According to Virgil, what prince was the only major Trojan hero to survive the Greek destruction of Troy? Yes, Spencer. Aeneas. That is correct. Uh, what corrupt FBI agent earned infamy and, by the way, a 10-year prison sentence for aiding a notorious Boston gangster Whitey Bulger? John Connolly is the answer. Uh, tundra vegetation includes which of the following? A, pine trees, B, cacti, or C, mosses? Sam. Mosses. Correct. Held between 1545 and 1563 in northern Italy. What Roman Catholic Council has been described as the embodiment of the Counter-Reformation? Yes, Michael. Council of Trent. Yes, that is correct. Cape Engaño, the easternmost point on the island of Hispaniola, is in what country? Yes, Aiden. Dominican Republic. Yes. If there is any lingering doubt, let there be no more. I did it, along with my brother. What convicted Boston Marathon bomber said this in June of 2015? Yes, Will? Zohar Sanayev. Yes. Math question. In trigonometry, what function is the reciprocal of the cosine? Yes, the Alice. Secant. Yes. In June of 2015, what movie about the clashing emotions inside a little girl's head set a record for opening weekend box office for an original film, meaning not a sequel? Yes, Aiden. Inside Out. Yes. Uh, despite pushback from some newspapers in the South in 1968, who became the first African-American character to be integrated into the Peanuts comic strip? Sam. Um, Franklin. Correct. Uh, what museum that contains over three million works of art was founded in St. Petersburg in 1764 by Catherine the Great? Yes, Hermitage? Ellen. Yes. Uh, to die would be an awfully big adventure. This famous quote is from what children's literature character? Peter Pan. Uh, in the mid-1700s, which Swedish botanist developed a system still in use today for naming and classifying plants? Yes, Aiden. Careless Linnaeus. Yes, that's right. Uh, although most pollsters predicted a close race, what Israeli prime minister was re-elected by a clear margin in 2015? Spencer? Netanyahu. Yes. Every time I moved a muscle... Another pedal of me blew away. Cheryl Strayed wrote this in what hiking memoir recently adapted into a film? Marisa. Wild. Yes. Uh, the song Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas was introduced by Judy Garland in what 1944 MGM musical? Uh, Marisa. White Christmas. No. Acton Boxborough Spencer. A Star is Born. No. Meet Me in St. Louis is the answer there. Although a slaveholder himself, what hero of Texan independence was against the spread of slavery and was the only Southern governor to oppose secession? Yes, Will. Austin? No, Acton, Boxborough, Michael. Houston. Yes, Sam Houston. Which of these... Oh, wow!
Uh, there's the end of round one. We'll take a look at the score right now. Acton Boxborough, 170 points. Somerville High School, 130 points. That's a good round. How about it, folks? Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we're just going to take a couple of minutes to relax. Everybody sigh after me. Ready? <sighs> All right, gang, here we go. I've got a question. Each of you will answer it in his or her way. You ready? If you had a warning label, what would it say? Michael, we'll start with you. Mine would say, don't panic. Don't panic. Do you feel a lot of panic around you at all times or something, Michael? Occasionally. Okay. I'd say uh, it's more related to my favorite book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by oh. Douglas Adams. Very good follow-up. That was impressive. Alex, warning sign. Um... I break for squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Aiden? Caution, content's hot. Woo! Oh. Whoa! Hot! Uh, uh, Spencer, how about you? Uh, warning, sharp object. A sharp object, yes. And uh, over to Somerville High School we go. And Sam, how about it? Uh, say biohazard. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, yes. I'm kidding. Uh, Alice, uh, you? Parental advisory, explicit content. <laughs> this is a good question when you think of it. Uh, Marisa. Uh, morning contents under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll make it good. You're the last right. one. Hot surface, do not touch. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so here's the way the head to head works, and I'm sure most of you are known because a lot of you are returned. Uh, but will you choose one person from each team, and those two will come forward and represent the team? So, Acton Boxborough, who's it going to be? Spencer, not your first rodeo, by the way. And uh, Somerville High School, who's coming forward? Marisa. All right, Spencer, Marisa, let's go head to head. Come on down. <laughs> We're about to go head to head. I've got Marisa from Somerville High School on my left. I've got Spencer from Acton Boxborough Regional High School on my right. Why don't you guys shake hands? And I will remind everybody in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. In 1941, Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the Atlantic Charter with what British... Pro yes. Winston Churchill. Yes. Uh, what Greek poet is the presumed author of the Iliad and the... Uh, yes. Homer. Yes. What mountain range separates France from Spain? Yes. Uh, the Pyrenees. Yes. In 2015, who celebrated his 20th anniversary as conductor of the Boston Pops Orchestra? Keith Lockhart. People with Down syndrome have how many chromosomes? Yes. Oh, uh, three? No, 47. Uh, what English novelist wrote The Rainbow and Sons and Lovers? Lawrence. Yes. yes. Uh, Jersey and the Isle of Wight are located in what body of water? Yes? Um, the, the English Channel. Yes. In O. Henry short story, The Gift of the Magi, what does the wife sell for $20? Yes. Her hair? Yes. Uh, in 1873, the first cable car began operating on Clay Street. Yes. San Francisco. Yes. Montage of Heck is a documentary about what lead singer of the rock band Nirvana. Kurt yes. Cobain. Yes. According to a famous quote from Shakespeare, what is the better part of valor? Wisdom. No, discretion. Uh, the tobacco plant contains what highly toxic chemical that acts as a natural pesticide? Yes. Nicotine, no. Nicotine. Yeah. Uh, founded in 1460, the University of Basel is the oldest university. Yes. yes. In Norse myth, the Aesir gods were often in conflict with what other group of gods? Whoa! Well, I'll give you the answer. Nobody gets hurt. Uh, Vanir. Uh, that is the end of round two. It's the head-to-head -head round. We'll take a look at the score right now as it stands. Acton Boxborough Regional High School, 210 points. Somerville High School, 170 points. Let's make some noise for both teams. All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. Say Anything, Back to the Garden, Cuba Libre, The Supremes, To Infinity and Beyond, and All About Anne. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, 
You can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you are no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Now, Somerville, you've got a little ground to make up, so we're going to let you choose the first category. I see you conferring already. What's the category going to be? Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Okay, questions about Cuba during the Cold War. And for 10 points, after U.S. businesses in Cuba were nationalized without compensation, what U.S. president broke off diplomatic ties and imposed a trade embargo in October of 1960? Yes, Will. Uh, Truman. No, Acton Boxborough Spencer. Eisenhower. Yes, so you get control of the board. What's it going to be, Acton Boxborough? Category. Cuba Libre. Going to stay with Cuba Libre this time. For 15 points. In 1961, the U.S. backed a failed invasion by Cuban exiles at what isolated spot on the island's southern shore? Yes, Aiden. Bay of Pigs. That is correct. You still have the board. Acton Boxborough category. Cuba Libre. We'll stay there this time for 20 points. For more than two decades, the U.S. plotted against Fidel Castro, most famously in an assassination attempt that included which of the following? Is it A, exploding cigars? B, poisoned rum. C, ricin-tipped umbrellas. Yes, Alice. A, exploding scars. That is correct. Somerville, you get the board. Category, please. Keep going. We're going to stay with Cuba Libre for 25 points. Uh, what U.S.-backed dictator was overthrown during the 1959 Cuban Revolution? Yes, Alice. Batista. Yes, that is correct. You've still got control of the board, Somerville. Let's finish the category. We're going to stay with Cuba Libre, this time for 30 points. The Cuban Missile Crisis ended when the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba in return for the withdrawal of U.S. missiles from what country? Spencer. Turkey. Turkey is correct. You'll need a new category, Act in Boxborough. All about Anne. All about Anne. Uh, these are questions about famous Anne, spelled with an E at the end or without. And for 10 points, who was executed at the Tower of London in 1536 on false charges of conspiracy against her husband, King Henry VIII? Yes, Benson. Anne Boleyn. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. The Supremes for 10. We're going to jump to the Supremes. These will be questions about major U.S. Supreme Court cases in 2015. And for 10 points, in King versus Burwell, the Supreme Court upheld tax credits that are crucial to what 2010 health care law? Yes, Will? Uh, Affordable Care Act. That is correct. Somerville, you get the board back. Category? Supremes. Supremes. Supremes, Supremes. for 15. In a deeply divided 5-4 ruling, the court declared a nationwide right to same-sex marriage. What Chief Justice read part of his dissent from the bench? Yes, Spencer. Roberts. John Roberts is correct, and you get the board back, Acton Boxborough. Back to the garden. Back to the garden. Questions about plants. And for 10 points, bees make honey by collecting what rich, sugary liquid that's secreted by flowers? Yes, Spencer. Nectar. Yes, you've still got the board. Say anything for 10. Questions about foreign words and phrases. And for 10 points, commonly used to refer to a spoiled, ill-tempered person. What two-word phrase means first lady in Italian? Yes, Spencer. Prima Donna. That is correct. You've still got the board act in Boxborough. To infinity and beyond. Boy, are you jumping around. <laughs> New category. Questions about math. And for 10 points, what is the greatest common factor of 20 and 16? Uh, Marisa. Four. Four is correct. Now, Somerville High, you've got the board. Category? Supremes. Supremes. The Supremes for 20 points. Uh, the court ruled that the controversial drug medazolam uh, can be used in executions without violating what constitutional amendment that prohibits cruel and unusual punishment? The yes. Eighth Amendment? Yes, that's correct. You've still got the board, Somerville. The Supremes. Uh, for 25 points. Uh, in two Alabama cases, the court ruled against what process of drawing election districts to give one political party an advantage over its opponents? Will. Gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is correct. Somerville, you've still got control of the game. Uh, Supremes. We're going to stay with the Supremes this time for 30 points. In a loss for the Obama administration, the court ruled that the EPA improperly interpreted what 1970 law that regulates toxic emissions from power plants? Marisa. The Clean Air Act. That is correct. You'll need a new category, Somerville, but you've still got the board. Uh, 
Back to the garden for 15. Back to the garden, 15 points. Uh, what female part of a flower typically includes the ovary, the style, and the stigma? Yes, Aiden. The pistol. That is correct. And now Acton Boxborough, you get control of the game. Category. All about Anne. All about Anne, this time for 15 points. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. What teenager wrote this in 1944? Alice? Anne Frank. That is correct. And now Somerville, you get the board back. Category. All about Anne. Uh, we're going to stick with All About Anne, this time for 20 points. In 1582, 18-year-old William Shakespeare married what 26-year-old woman from Stratford? Alice? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Not the actress, by the way. You've still got it, Somerville category. Let's stick with it. All About Anne for 25. Known for her trademark blue dress and apron, what actress played housekeeper Alice on all five seasons of The Brady Bunch? And B. Davis is the answer, but Somerville, you still have the board category. Back to the garden. For 20 points, back to the garden. Here we go. Uh, what cactus species that can reach up to 50 feet in height is an icon of the American Southwest? Yes, Alice. The saguaro. That is correct. You've still got the board, Somerville. Stick with it. Back to the garden, 25 points. In 1620, German botanist Paul Hermann coined what scientific term for flowering plants? Yes, Aiden. Angiosperms. That is correct. Acton Boxborough, you've got control back. Category. Back to the garden. Back to the garden for 30 points. Uh, deciduous trees shed their leaves in the fall because the shorter and cooler days trigger a drop in what growth hormone found in leaves and in branches? Yes, Aiden. Oxen. Oxen is right. Acton, Boxborough. You'll need a new category. To infinity and beyond. Okay, for 15 points, uh, Jimmy invests $500 in the stock market after 10 years. If his investment is worth 300% of its original cost, how much will it then be worth? Yes, Will? $1,500. That is correct. Somerville, you've got the board. All about Anne. All about Anne for 30 points. The Tenth Muse is a poetry collection about the hardships of colonial life by what woman who was America's first published poet? Yes, Aiden. Anne Bradstreet. That is correct. Category, please, Acton Boxborough. Say anything. Say anything for 15 points. What two-word French phrase that means false step refers to a mistake or social blunder? Yes, Alice. A faux pas. A faux pas is correct. Somerville, you've got it back. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, that ends the category round. Let's take a look at the score right now. Acton, Boxborough Regional High School, 410 points. It's close. Somerville High School, 385 points. Let's make some noise. For these okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, and we call it the lightning round. Now, here's the deal. You get 20 points for each correct answer, Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. What country includes the provinces of Hunan and... Si yes, Will. Uh, China. Yes. Uh, in human history, what age came between the Stone Age and the Iron Age? Yes, Aiden. Bronze Age. Correct. Uh, what did Carl Jung uh, describe as the female equivalent of the Oedipus complex? The Electra complex. Yes, Michael. Uh, what Charles Dickens novel is narrated by a character named Pip? Spencer. Great expectations. Yes. In 2015, the Obama administration granted offshore drilling rights in the Arctic to what oil company? Shell. Yes. Aiden. Yes. Um, the Polino is a small target ball played in what sport with an Italian name? Yes, Alex. Bocce. Bocce. Uh, what country is the world's largest exporter of conventional weapons? Yes, Will. Russia. No, the United States, uh, the answer there. Name the branch of zoology that deals with the study of birds. Ornithology. Yes. Uh, C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien that became friends while teaching at what university? Yes, and Marisa. Cambridge. No, Oxford University. In October 2011, revolutionary forces killed what deposed Libyan leader? Yes, Gaddafi. what? Yes. Uh, Muncie and Bloomington are cities in what U.S. state? Yes, Indiana. Will? Yes. Uh, what Australian computer programmer founded the media organization WikiLeaks? Yes, Will. Uh, Lalonde. No, Julian Assange is the answer there. 
Uh, who was the Greek goddess of agriculture? All right. Everybody take a deep breath. The winning team this week is Acton Boxborough with a total score of 510 points. The runner-up this week, Somerville High School. Congratulations to them with 405 points. Really a nice round of applause for both teams. A great game this week, season seven. Now, the winner, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, will move on to play in the quarterfinals now, so be sure to tune in, and we'll see you all right back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Yes! Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV On Demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.